Walsh, we start with the passing of one of Wisconsin's wealthiest, Herb Kohler, executive chairman of the Kohler Company, passed away yesterday at the age of 83. He was CEO of that company for 43 years. Kohler now has more than 40,000 employees, dozens of manufacturing facilities on six continents. Kohler, known for making Wisconsin a golf destination as well. CBS 50's Jenna Wells live in the studio with more on Kohler's legacy. Jenna. Bill, Herb Kohler's legacy is far reaching, as you mentioned, quite literally making a name for himself as the head of the Kohler company with business and plumbing fixtures and generators before becoming a leader in the world of golf and the sports influence in Sheboygan County and in the whole state of Wisconsin. He was a very dynamic leader. He was an entrepreneur. He was a visionary. He was a perfectionist. That's how golf journalist Gary D'Amato remembers Herbert Kohler. He was a very gregarious, a big laugh. Um, his handshakes would last 20 seconds. The executive chairman of the bathroom and home fixture company also turned Wisconsin into a golf destination. He opened four championship caliber golf courses in Sheboygan County, including the crown jewel Whistling Straits. A fifth is being planned. Well, he built uh, golf as a business proposition, and then uh, it was after that that I think he fell in love with the game. Bringing major championships and tourism dollars to what was once a flyover state for pro golfers. He, he was a pragmatic businessman, and he knew that uh, professional golf, that big championships, would attract attention to his golf courses and would make people want, want to come play them. His endeavors didn't come without controversy, especially from locals and environmental groups concerned about preserving the land. I mean, uh, not everybody is going to love a guy who has a huge business empire. He was very philanthropic when it came to golf, gave back in many ways to First Tee and to, to other enterprises. With a legacy that kept people talking, Kohler's impact is clear. All the attention he's attracted to Wisconsin I, I think he's definitely on the Mount Rushmore of golf figures in our state. Herb Kohler's cause of death hasn't been announced yet. He was 83 years old. We're still waiting for details regarding funeral arrangements. Live in the studio, Jenna Wells, CBS 58 News. Bill.